Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amulya's Academy. I'm back with another pattern program. Today we'll print stars in star shape. This is our today's pattern. So here first we'll write the program for particular pattern that is particular number of rows. Next we'll convert that program for the user input which will work for any number of rows. So to first write the program, I'll take this pattern as the example. I'll write the program to print this pattern. We can write this pattern like this also with row number and column number. We can see here this pattern contains 9 rows starting from 0 and 13 column. So we need to write the program for this pattern which contains 9 rows and 13 column. And here you can see we want to print stars in the different row and column. Here these are the rows and these are the columns. So we want to print stars in different row and column. So for that here I'll use nested for loop. That is one for loop inside the another for loop. And here we'll take the for loop for row first. Inside that I'll take for loop for column. That is because here we'll print star like this. We'll start from row 0 and we'll print space or star whatever required in the column we'll print that after completing every column of row 0 we'll go to the row 1 and we'll print space or star whatever required in the column after completing all the columns of row 1 we'll go to row 2 so we'll print star like this so that's why first we need to take the for loop for row inside that we need to take the for loop for column Alright, so let's take the nested for loops. So in the python file, here let me take for loop for row first. Here i is the variable which is representing the row. And here I am using range function. And in the range function, I need to mention how many rows I want in the output. We know we want uh, 9 rows, right? And next inside this, we need to take the for loop for column. So I will take the variable for column as j. And here in the range function, I need to mention how many columns I want in the output. We want 13 column, right? So 9 and 13. When I take range as 9 or 13, it means the range is starting from 0. So if I take range of 9, it is equal to range of 0 to 9. So we'll get i value or row value as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Like this. Column also, when I take range of 13, we'll get 0 to 12. Total 13 column starting from 0. Alright, so now we are done with the nested for loop. Next, in a row, in some columns we want to print space and in some column we want to print star. Here you can see. So to print these two character, I'll use if else conditional statement. In the if I'll take in which row and column I want to print star. In the else part, I'll print the space. So inside this for loop I need to take if condition and here I need to mention in which row and column I want to print star. So for that first I'll divide my pattern into different parts. So let me take this as one part. This is the second part. This, this, this as another part and uh, this as another part. Right, so we have different parts here. Okay, I'll divide my pattern into different parts. So first, let's write the condition for part 1. That is this. So here we can see in the row 2, in every column I want to print star. So here you need to take when i is equal to equal to 2. Here we are writing the condition. So we are comparing i, the row value with the 2. So that's why you need to use comparison operator. That is double equals. You need to check whether i is equal to equal to 2. If it is true, I want star. Next here, I'll use logical or operator. Logical or and logical and operators are used to combine two or more conditions. And here in this situation, we need logical or operator, not logical and. Because here if any one of the condition is true, then I want to print star. That's why I need to use logical or operator. If I use logical and operator, then that means every condition need to be true to print star. That is not possible. That's why you need to use logical or operator. Next, let's write the condition for next part. Next here we can see this is the second part. And that is i is equal to equal to 6. At row 6 I want star at every column. 
So here I'll take the condition as i is equal to equal to 6. Next again here I'll take logical or operator. Next let's write the code for part 3. This is part 3 here. I took this as the part 3. And here to write the star like this, I'll use addition and subtraction operators. So first this is present at row 0 column 6. Next this is present at row 1 column 5. This is present at row 2 column 4. This is present at row 3 column 3. This is at row 4 column 2. This is at row 5 column 1. This is at row 6 and column 0. I wrote down the position of the stars, the row and column value. Now if I add these two values, 0 plus 6, I will get 6, 1 plus 5, I will get 6, 2 plus 4, I will get 6, 3 plus 3, I will get 6, 4 plus 2, I will get 6, 5 plus 1, I will get 6, 6 plus 0, I will get 6. So when I add i and j, if I get result as 6, then we need to print star at that position, right? So I can write the condition like this. When I add i and j, if I get 6, that means in that position I want star. In these places, when I add i and j, I'll get the sum as 6. So here, I'll take the condition as when I add i and j, if I get 6, then I want to print star at that position. So we are done with the part 1, part 2 and uh, part 3. So next, let's move on to the part 4. That is this part. As I said, to form the condition, I'll use addition and subtraction. So let's write down the position, row and column value of these stars. This is present at row 0 and column 6. This is present at row 1 and column 7. This is at row 2, column 8. This is at row 3, column 9. Row 4, column 10. Row 5, column 11. Row 6 and column 12. Now how to form a formula here? So now if I do j minus i, that is if I subtract i from j, 6 minus 0, I'll get 6, 7 minus 1, I'll get 6, 8 minus 2, I'll get 6, 9 minus 3, I'll get 6. So when I do this j minus i, if I subtract row from column, then I'll get 6 in all this situation. So I'll take this next condition as if j minus i is equal to equal to 6. Right. So next, next let's move on to the part 5. That is here. I want to print star here. So let's write down its column and row. I and J. So here this is present at row 2 column 0. This is at uh, row 3 column 1. This is at row 4 and column 2. This is at row 5 column 3. This is at row 6 and column 4. This is at row 7 column 5. This is at row 8 and column 6. So now if I do i minus j then I will get result as 2. 2 minus 0, 3 minus 1, 4 minus 2, 3 minus sorry this is 5 minus 3, 6 minus 4, 7 minus 5, 8 minus 6. The result is 2. So I will take this condition as when i minus j is equal to equal to 2, I want to print star for this part. So I will take condition as if i minus j is equal to equal to 2. Next let's write the condition for last part that is this part. So here this is at row 2 and uh, column 12. This is at row 3 and column 11. This is at row 4 and column 10. This is at row 5 and column 9. This is at row 6 and column 8. This star at row 7 and column 7. And this is at row 8 and column 6. So now if I add this i plus j here, I will get 14 in every situation you can see. 2 plus 12, 3 plus 11. So I'll get 14. So I'll take the condition as if i plus j is equal to equal to 14, then I want to print star. 
so here last condition is is equal to equal to 4 in this situation if the, any one of this condition is true then i want to print star so here take print function and print star and also you need to take end as space or empty string that is because in the print function by default the end parameter is slash n that is after printing one star it will go to the next line in that case we'll get star in a vertical line but we don't want that in a row we want to print star in the same line horizontal line that's why here you need to take end is equal to space next here you need to take else part for if and here you need to print space you also take end is equal to so if this condition is not true other than these places i want to print space next here in the first for loop inside the first for loop outside the second for loop you need to take print function that is because here we can see outside for loop is for row right to print row after completing one row you need to go to the next line to print the next row that's why you need to take here print function here end is slash n so it will go to the new line here because we want to print star one after the another i took end is equal to space in the print function but after com completing one row to go to the next row to print the star or space in the next row i need to go to the next line that's why we need to take print function inside the first for loop so now we are done with the program so let's execute this save and execute so here we can see our pattern required pattern now we wrote the program which will work for a specific row now if i want to make it user input which will work for any number of row then how to do that so for that the first step is we'll ask the user to enter the number of rows he want in the output the number of column will be dependent on the row value so no need to ask the user to enter the column value so first is here in the program first step i'll take a variable n and i'll ask the user to enter number of rows here i'll use input function to take input from the user but here i'm using python 3 and in python 3 by default this input function will take input as the string value but here we want number of row that is the integer value that's why we need to convert input to integer using int function now the integer input that is the number of row will be stored in variable n next we need to take the column value how many columns we want right so to identify the relation between number of row and column in this program you need to write down the pattern for different row first for example here i have two pattern when row is 6 we want column as 7 when row is 7 we want column as 9 so to find out the relation between number of row and column i wrote down the patterns for different rows in the in a paper and i saw when row is 5 we need column as 5 when row is 6 we need column as 7 when row is 7 i need column as 9 when row is 8 i want column as 11 and when row is 9 i want column as 13 and when row is 10 i want column as 15 when i took row as 11 i want 17 and when i take row as 12 i need 19 columns and our program won't work for the row below 5 because we can't construct the pattern for uh, row 4, row 3, row 2, row 1. So that's why I'll take row should be greater than 5. And when I take row as 5, I need 5 column. When row is 6, I want 7 column. When row is 7, I want 9 column like that. So to form a relation between the number of row and number of column, I'll take formula as column is equal to n that is number of row plus n minus 5. So here we can see the difference between the column and row is here 0, 5 minus 5, 0, 7 minus 6 is 1, 9 minus 1 is 2, 11 minus 8 is 3, this is 4, this is 5, this is 6, this is 7. If I do column minus row, I'll get this result. So what I'll do is I'll write the formula like this. So when I take n as 5, 5 minus 5 is 0, so I'll get column as 5. When I take n as 6, 6 plus n minus 5, so 6 minus 5, 1, so I'll get 7. When column is 6, I'll get 7. So this formula will work for this. So 
I need to take column is equal to equal to n plus n minus 5. If you ask why 5 because we are not printing the stars below 5 and when I take 5 as the row we need 5 column. That's why I'll subtract 5 from n. So this is the relation between the row and column. Now we know how many rows I want n rows and how many columns we want column rows c o l. Next here we need to change this condition. Here this is the condition that is we want to print star at every column of row 2. Here I will keep this condition same because in our pattern this part 1 and part 2 will be present at the second row and the second last row. Got it right? This is the second row and this is the second last row that is fixed. I won't change that. So I is always 2. In every program, I want to print star at every column. And for this, this is the second last row. So here, when row is 7, we'll get this pattern. So this is nothing but n minus 1. This is n minus 2 and this is n minus 3. When i is 2 and when i is n minus 3, when n is row, we want star. This is fixed in our program. Okay, if, I, if you want, you can change that. But here I will take in the second row and the second last row I want star in every column. And next here we can say i plus j is equal to equal to 6. So we took i plus j is equal to 6 in this pattern. So what is 6 here? 6 is nothing but middle value right? This is the middle value of the column. So when I divide column by 2 I will get middle that is nothing but 6 here. So here instead of 6 you need to take mid. So here first you need to find out the middle value. So for that column truncated division 2 and here instead of 6 you need to take mid. And also here 6 is nothing but middle value you need to take middle. And here i minus j is equal to equal to 2. So this is also fixed value you can take 2 here because here I took i is equal to equal to 2 right that is the fixed point of the my pattern program so here it is also 2 in every pattern program it, when I take i minus j is equal to 2 it will print this star that is here we can see in both this pattern when I do i minus j will get 2 like this so I'll keep the same condition and for this i plus j is equal to 14 what is 14 here when number of column is 13 we got 14 here so that is nothing but column plus 1 value. So here you need to take column plus 1. So here we need to write this condition when column plus 1. That is because here we can see when j is 13, when column is 13, here we took it as 14. The value, total value is 14. So what is 14? That is nothing but column plus 1. In this pattern also you can see. Right? So now we are done. So let's execute this. Enter number of row. If I enter 12 as the number of row. Here you can see the pattern. If I enter 5. If I enter 10. Okay. It will work for every number of row. But row should be greater than 5. Don't take row less than 5. Okay. Should be greater than 5. Remember that. Okay, so this is how you can print the stars in the star shape. So that's it for now guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will meet you in next class. Till then, take care.